Hi, good morning. My name is Gordon van der Spey and we are at the Mahangwa Community Camp in Lesotho, Boko. Okay, so the fly we're going to tie today is the Bokong Hampi. Now, it's a known fact, yellowfish love humpies. But the one thing about humpies is I find them to be very stiff patterns, you know, lots of hackle and it looks very hospital bed achtach. So what I wanted to do was create a fly that was looser. So the first thing I'm going to do is attach my tying thread. Use a nice thick thread, like 70 denier is perfect. Get a nice base going so that you've got something to seat materials on. Okay, so we've got the thread in there. Okay, get the thread coming in nice and flat. Like that. Come back to the middle, like that. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of clip springer for the tail. You can make it fairly thick and bushy. You want about gape length on this. Okay. Cut it. Tie it in. Get your thread flat. Okay and decrease pressure as you come back. And then bring the thread all the way back to your initial time point. Then I'm going to take a little bit more clip springer and this is going to be the shell back of the flies. And in that exact same point, tie that in. Okay, next I'm going to dub the body and I found some nice dodgy high flies dubbing from 1986. It's a lacquer haze mix for storm. Okay. I like the color, I like the texture, it's fantastic. So I'm going to dub this in. I like the dubbing because it gives it a lacquer buggy look. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to pull it over and we're going to just Tie it in and then we're going to cut that off. Next I'm going to do the wing with a little bit of clippies. Now the original humpy wing, they separate the wings and they do them individually and all of this guck. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep this thing a lot simpler, okay? Sure it's perfect. That's perfect. Bring my thread forward to the time point. Just do that and make a couple of locking wraps in there. Okay, like that. Next, I'm going to tie in a hackle. Okay, so I just tie in the hackle like this. Okay, so now I've got that. I've uh, prepped a little bit of CDC. So you take your CDC, which you've got over here in your bulldog clamp, and then we've cut. You take your thread, put it on a fingernail, split it. I use a dental pick, I love it. Split it like this, okay? Get the finger in there. Put your CDC in here. Okay. it at a 90 degree angle spin it up get okay now we're gonna wrap this in wrap it brush wrap it brush wrap it brush okay. you don't need to be tidy about this okay we are looking for a rough look wrap it in Brush it back, wrap it in, 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 brush it back. 
Next, I'm going to take this hackle and I'm going to wrap this through the CDC. This just gives us a little bit of structure. Wrap it there. Tie it in. Like that. Make a, a locking wrap just in front of the hackle. Trim the hackle off. Right over there. Hold this back and make a nice neat head. Ah, there we go. That's looking good. And now I'm going to whip finish this little puppy. And there you have the Bokong Humpy. Donkey's like love. Okay, obviously he's had enough, so we've let him go.